Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Luthringer, and this is What's Cooking. Well, we've been making a watermelon sorbet today. Now, you can use any fruit that you'd like, um, but I'm using watermelon mainly because watermelons are readily available right now, and it would be a nice, refreshing change from a typical uh, raspberry or maybe a strawberry sorbet. But you can use any type of fruit. Mango would also work very nicely. So in our last segment, what we did was we pureed in a food processor some of the watermelon. Now, if you don't want any um, pulp, like this has pulp in it, you would strain it. But what we have to do next is add our, a little bit of sugar syrup. And I made this in our last segment. Basically, it's just a little bit of, of sweetened water that has cooked down. And then we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon or lime juice. And that helps preserve the color and um, the flavors. So we'll add this right to the rest of this. I decided on this one not to strain it. And then we pop that in the freezer. So once the um, sorbet is frozen, it looks like this. And when you, when you um, um, stir it around in order to, like every 20 minutes, maybe go into the freezer and kind of give it a little bit of a stir, what you'll get is a, you know, like a nice frozen fruit. Now you can take this and put it back into your food processor and let me show you that really quickly here. But if you put that back into your food processor, you'll have some, a really nice um, frothy dessert that you can mix up and serve up with a little bit of berries that are blue. And you've got a delicious, refreshing little treat. How about that? No ice cream maker needed on this one.